Fairfax County, we're lucky enough to have 18 different species of snake, and only one of them is venomous, and that's the eastern copperhead. Our snakes range from six feet to quite small. The largest snake we have is the eastern rat snake, and one of the smallest is the uh, decay snake. Snakes prefer many different habitats. Some prefer living in the edge of the water, some prefer meadows, some prefer deep in the forest, and some prefer even right in your own backyard. Snakes serve as important roles as predator and prey in our ecosystems, and they provide a very valuable service in our communities in terms of pest control. People are most likely to encounter a snake when a snake's just kind of crossing their backyards or other transient habitats, when snakes are crossing roads, um, when it's breeding season and snakes are out looking for mates, or when they're basking on edges of habitats such as water bodies or forest edges. The top five snake calls I get will probably be in no particular order, but certainly we'll start off with the eastern rat snake because of its size. And also that's the snake that really likes to visit your bird feeders and also even in your bluebird boxes. Sometimes when you're working in your garden, you bump into some small species, probably the eastern garter snake, which is really pretty black with some yellow stripes going down. And he's really good at pest control in your garden. And then you have a real small snake called a decay snake, which is a huge benefit because it eats slugs. And we know slugs definitely will do damage to your garden. Again, probably the northern water snake. We have a lot of great fishing spots in Fairfax County, and usually they're misidentified as water moccasins, which do not get above Richmond, Virginia. Another snake that's really common we see in our rock walls is probably the northern ringneck, which has a beautiful yellow ring on its neck. And also, let's finish with another snake that kind of scares people, and that's the eastern worm snake. It looks just like a worm. It's got a beautiful pink belly, and he'll be in your garden doing insect control. Our only venomous snake we have here is the eastern copperhead, and probably the easiest way to identify a copperhead is by its large triangular head. Now, a lot of non-venomous snakes will spread their heads out when they're scared, but copperheads have a very narrow neck behind their head. They also have a really unique pattern. Many of our non-venomous species are frequently misidentified as copperheads due to similarities in their coloration or species that have uh, cross bands or blotches on their backs. Um, some of the more common species that are misidentified as copperheads include juvenile eastern rat snakes, which look very different from the adults, decays brown snakes, which are sometimes referred to as northern brown snakes, and also northern water snakes. If there's a snake within the living quarters of a home or you find a snake that appears sick or injured, you can contact Animal Protection Police through the police non-emergency number. Our officers do not remove snakes that are outside in yards, in attics, or in unfinished basements. Most snakes do not pose a threat to humans, but if you are bitten by a snake that you believe to be venomous, seek medical attention immediately. Additionally, the keeping of venomous snakes is prohibited in Fairfax County. I would say the most common areas you're going to find snakes are in our parks. Generally people that run into snakes are either leaving the trail in the park or else people who handle snakes. Snakes rely on mimicry and when in camouflage and when you're off trail you're not going to see them and that's when you can run into a negative situation. And then the other way is you just don't want to pick up snakes. You want to give them their space, you want to respect them. They serve a really important role in the ecosystem that we're a part of. There are a few simple tips that you can use to stay safe in the outdoors when snakes may be present. The first is if you do encounter a snake, to stop, step back, give it space, and it'll move on its own. Never attempt to handle or capture a snake, especially if you're not sure of the species, as any snake may bite if they're provoked. When walking or hiking, it's best to stay on established trails or pathways that are cleared. Um, you can bring a walking stick with you and make some noise or tap it to alert snakes to your presence. When recreating outdoors, it's best to wear long pants and closed-toed shoes such as boots. And when working outdoors such as a garden or especially areas around debris, we recommend wearing protective gloves. If you are walking at night in areas where snakes may be present, we recommend carrying a flashlight. If you are walking your dogs, we recommend keeping them on leashes and not letting cats free roam. This reduces any encounters that your pets may have by wandering off into natural areas. 
Snakes live here in Fairfax County. They live with us. And I really think that once we learn about these important animals and we learn how to react with them and interact with them, then I think it will serve both of us, humans and snakes, better.